Hey loves, welcome back. Today we're doing some everyday spring makeup using my favorite high-end products on one side and more drugstore slash affordable products on the other. This is such an easy makeup look, so I wanted to show you that you can achieve it with both affordable and high-end makeup. It's very fresh, it's very glowy, it's just perfect for spring. So these are like my everyday makeup must-haves and I love both of these, drugstore and high-end. So we're just gonna go through all the faves and do a little side-by-side. -side. A lot of these, I don't wanna say they're necessarily dupes, some of these are just nice alternatives and they're gonna give you a similar effect to the high-end. So grab a snack, get cozy and let's do some makeup. I always say brows are personal preference, so fill in your brows however you like. I feel like it's just different for everybody. And for me, per usual, I used my Dominique Brow Frame in the shade Soft Black Brown and the Rare Beauty Brow Gel, which is literally the best. I have three backups because it's that good, but this is truly all about the skin anyways. Even the eye makeup is going to be really simple, so let's do the skin prep. So after you let all of your skincare settle in for a little bit, I would say at least 30 minutes to an hour if you can. So I always like to start with my favorite setting spray, and typically I usually prefer something a little bit more hydrating. I always do a combination of hydrating and matte products because I have combo skin. So I'm going to start off with the Rare Beauty 4-in-1, always an optimist mist this has such a fine mist and it's not a greasy setting spray which is why i really like it it's truly just very light and fresh and airy on the skin and it gives the perfect amount of hydration and glow so I do a couple sprays of that, let that settle and fully absorb into the skin. And for the drugstore side, I'm using the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Illuminizing Setting Spray. I feel like this is so underrated, but this also gives a very similar effect to Rare Beauty and it honestly even smells like it. And it also has a very fine mist. You can find it at CVS and it is so good. If you're not using setting spray before any of your primers, try it out. I'm telling you, it makes such a difference. Not only does it give your skin a nice little boost, but I feel like your other primers and products are just gonna have a nice barrier to stick to. That's why I always like to do it. And since these are a little bit glowy, you can even kind of rub that setting spray into your skin so that it fully is absorbed. So whenever I do this kind of makeup look, I love a good gripping primer. For the high-end side, I have the Milk Hydro Grip. I actually do really like this. I don't think it is a must-have, and there are a lot of good dupes for it, but if you buy this, I think you're going to really enjoy it. Plus, you get a lot of product, so it's going to last you forever. So I'm going to use this all over because even though it's fresh everyday makeup you still want it to last all day you don't want it coming off and looking splotchy throughout the day so you want to use something that is going to hydrate your skin and just give you a nice tacky base so your products adhere so nicely over top and this one is really nice for the drugstore side i'm going to go in with this one from nyx it is the honey do me up primer honestly so underrated i just started using this and i am shocked at how good it is this is also hydrating it kind of gives skincare and makeup vibes in one and it has like this little bit of a tacky base as well when you put it on and so i love it i do think this is a nice alternative to the milk primer it's a little bit thinner but it's so hydrating as well. It feels like a serum, but then again, once it dries, it's a little bit tacky. I've been loving it. I feel like NYX primers in general, you can't go wrong. Even the Plump Right Back is one of my all-time favorites. And if you have oily skin, I would go with something that is gonna be a little bit more pore-filling and mattifying, but don't be scared of hydration. Still use a good moisturizer beforehand. Also, the NYX primer isn't too heavy and it's very fast absorbing as well, which I love. So now that we are all prepped and glowy, let's move into foundation. I'm actually gonna use for the high-end side the It Cosmetics CC Plus Natural Matte. I've been loving this product. I think this is one of the most perfect CC creams for every day and especially for spring. It's very fresh, full coverage, long wearing, but still really lightweight. And I'm going to use the shade medium today. When I have a tan, by the way, neutral medium is really good. And then when I am completely light and have no tan to me, I'm usually light medium. I love to apply this with my fingers first and then blend it in with a brush. This just kind of prevents me from using an excess amount of product. And then I can kind of just distribute it exactly where I want the most coverage. And I'm using the foundation brush from It Cosmetics. This is the Star Brush. And I'm gonna just press that into the skin. I also love that this has SPF in it, so it's really good for every day, but still use your SPF in your skincare routine because from what I've heard, apparently it's just not enough in makeup. Plus you have to reapply it, but 
I just love this for the coverage and just how smooth and pretty it looks on the skin. It's literally like your skin look better. So seamless. Then on the other side, I'm going to use the About Face Skin Focused Foundation. I know technically this is not drugstore. It's on the affordable side at Ulta, but I would say it's kind of more mid price. Like it's $22. However, it comes in 45 different shades and there's skincare in here as well, mixed in makeup. So I feel like it is perfect for every day and just like for a good go-to foundation. I don't want to say it's a dupe for It Cosmetics, but it's a nice alternative if you want something with some skincare and makeup kind of mixed in there. So I have the color LM1 neutral and I'm gonna mix in a little bit of M1 neutral again just for like my tan shade but whenever I don't have a tan the shade LM1 neutral is perfect I'm gonna just do a little concoction right on the back of my hand I love this foundation because it's very fresh and also very pretty very lightweight and honestly the longer you wear this the prettier it looks on the skin it also has really good lasting power so I think this is just the epitome of like fresh spring makeup it's really like your skin but better as well it's a little bit less thick than it cosmetics i would say the coverage on the it one is a little bit better but i still like the way this looks because it is buildable and it's just so pretty and also so smooth it's hard to at the drugstore sometimes to find foundations that have such a good undertone and shade range and this foundation does that's why i chose it for this video today because I really like the undertones. I just, I love everything about the foundation and the way that it lasts, I think is just the cherry on top. See how pretty? It gives a little bit of like a glowy finish without being too much. I think both of them do, but it looks so good. Doing a little extra on my forehead because I am breaking out. Out of all the products on the drugstore side, this is the most pricey, but I think if you have a good foundation, you're golden, you know, like that's something where I feel like you can splurge a little bit more and it's going to be worth it because it's all about the base. And if you have a good base, everything else is just really seamless over top. I have been obsessed with this concealer from Fenty, the We're Even Hydrating Concealer. This is so, so good. I cannot stop using it. I mean, if you're going to splurge on a concealer, I'm telling you, this one is really nice. It's so thin, but it has medium to full coverage. It's not cakey it is just so beautiful and it truly just enhances the under eyes in the best way but it's not too natural either you know like it's still going to give you some coverage i just love the formula of it and the shade is perfect in 240 and i cannot recommend this enough one of my other favorites at the drugstore is the flower beauty get real serum concealer this is not a dupe for fenty but i do think it's a really pretty glowy hydrating concealer as well with really good coverage this one's in the shade sand might be a little bit too light but we are gonna make it work i just love this the nyx bear with me concealer serum is a great option as well but i'm always talking about that one so i wanted to switch it up and do flower beauty because i do think this one's very underrated and it's very pretty on the under eyes as well i do think the one from fenty is just a little bit more seamless on the under eyes but the one from flower beauty is really nice as well bronzer so this is the case where honestly i feel like you do not need to splurge on a high-end bronzer unless maybe you can't find your specific shade but i was looking through my cream bronzers that are high-end and i mean as much as i love my drugstore ones i do like this one from fenty and i think the shades are really good it's the fenty freestyle cream bronzer and this one's in the shade macchiato i like this formula i think if you're going to splurge on something this is nice it'll last you a while it's very creamy it's buildable and it just gives you a really nice chisel without looking muddy which is always a plus so i'm gonna a little bit of this with my it cosmetics brush i'm just gonna stipple this in starting right at the top of my cheekbone bringing it into my hairline so again this is one of those products where i don't think it's necessary to splurge but if you do i think fenty is a really nice option this is a beautiful very creamy blendable bronzer but the drugstore one is honestly giving very much luxe high-end vibes as well it's been my favorite but this is really nice too if you don't want to splurge which again i don't think you really need to try the new milani cheek kiss cream bronzer this one's in the shade hey honey i also love the color 120 which is the next shade up from this i'm going to use a different brush this one is from elf it is the complexion duo it's like a little dupe for the it cosmetics one this also again it's creamy it's blendable i feel like this could be a dupe for a lot of high-end cream bronzers and it's like 12 bucks at ulta or you can also find it, I believe, at Target. 
but it is absolutely beautiful. I've been wearing it nonstop and it looks so sun-kissed and seamless. Then we're gonna just set everything down with a good smoothing matte powder. You already know the vibes. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder it just does it for me every time. It's smooth, it's blurring, it's not cakey. It just always looks good. So I've been using a little powder puff to apply this. This one is from Rose and Ben Beauty. Always gotta blend out those little creases and then I'm just gonna start with this first and set my under eyes. I like this because it is a matte powder. So since I used a ton of glowy, hydrating products i just want to assure that everything is going to get set down and look nice and matte but you're still going to have a very like kind of fresh base because you're going to have a little bit of that glow kind of peeking through since we have just a nice very hydrated base but the powder is just nice to assure that nothing moves throughout the day and i like to apply this with a powder puff because then you can assure that the product is really getting pressed in and set down really nicely it's so satisfying doing this. It's my favorite part. I mean, look at how blurred that looks. I mean, look at that difference. It's actually insane. So what I'm gonna do, taking the other side of the powder puff, I'm just gonna put the little loophole through it, and then we have another fresh puff. Then on the other side, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Press Powder. This is one of the best alternatives that I have found to Charlotte Tilbury. I still think the one from Charlotte Tilbury is a little bit more just like airbrushed on the skin, but the one from NYX comes pretty darn close and it's like 10 bucks. Love this powder. It's just the best. I'm using the shade Light Medium. It's beautiful. Both of these are really nice touch-up powders as well. Because I do find that with this makeup, I get a little bit, not even oily, but just like there's a little bit of like that glowy kind of shininess coming through throughout the day. But I like it because it, it doesn't look greasy and I don't really feel like my makeup is melting off. It's just very pretty. It just adds to kind of like that spring fresh look, you know? So when you add this powder, it's nice because it doesn't add any extra coverage. It's just smooth brush and it's just gonna set everything down if you want to you can just take a little extra powder and just set the rest of your face again make sure you are pressing this in you don't want to rub the powder away because you're just gonna rub your makeup away and this is a Rosenben c41 brush it's nice and dense and it's a little bit angled so it fits really nicely onto little crevices of the face for the drugstore side I love the elf powder brush because it has a nice flat top so I'm gonna use a little extra NYX on the other side. My favorite part of this look, which is truly what just brings it together, is a glowy blush. This is a must-have for spring and summer. And I have so many favorite glowy blushes, but for high end, I'm gonna do a combination of peach and pink blush. So starting off with the RMS Mai Tai Redimension Blush. This is glowy and beautiful, and it gives you some pigment while also giving you a stunning glow from within. And I also love the House Labs by Radiant Gel Powdered Highlighter in the shade Rose Quartz. Honestly, these are very, very similar. The tones are just different, of course, but the formulas are almost identical. I do feel like the one from House Labs is a little bit more glowy because technically this is a highlighter, but I use it as a blush topper. But no separate highlighter is needed if you're using a glowy blush. So that's why I think it's perfect for every day because you can kind of skip that step. But I'm gonna do a combination of both of these. They're both really pigmented too. I like to just kind of start in the apples of my cheeks and press that upwards. And then for the drugstore side, Milani baked blushes are the absolute best. Like literally you cannot go wrong with these. I love the shade Luminoso. It is just that classic peachy shade that looks good with any makeup look. And then Dulce Pink is also that just that pretty shimmery pink mixing the two together is stunning but i also love them on their own they're so pigmented and they just give you that gorgeous baked blush effect I'm using another little angled brush this one is from bh cosmetics these are a little bit more on the buildable side compared to the rms and house labs one but that's not necessarily a bad thing because then you can really control how much product and how much of a glowy cheek you're into and you want and i really love the way this makeup looks with little to no eye makeup. So sometimes I just leave my eyes bare. Other times I will add a little mascara and I've been loving the Lash Without Limits from Essence. This one is the brown 
version. So honestly, I don't have a high-end mascara. I think there's so many good ones at the drugstore and this being one of them. Come on, camera. Stop focusing. Hello. There we go. So good, so affordable, and I love a good brown mascara too for every day because it's a little bit less harsh than black, but it still just adds a little something. So I'm gonna just do a dash of this. And I don't even have amazing eyelashes anyway, so that's why sometimes I just skip this step altogether, but we're gonna do a little something today. This gives length and separation. I really, really like it. But now let's do the lip combo. So I just put a little foundation over my lips to kind of mute them out. And for the high end side, I'm going to do Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I love this shade because it looks good with a ton of my favorite lip colors over top of it. It's just a really nice neutral color. Just for a little lip contour. I love it. It's perfect. It's not too cool tone. It's not too warm. And then for the drugstore side, I love the color statement lip liners from Milani. They're not as long wearing as Charlotte Tilbury, but still a very creamy, beautiful formula. And this one's in the shade All Natural. Every time I do this look, lip liner and lip oil is just the go-to or just a regular lip gloss. I'm gonna fill in my lips just a little bit with the lip liner. The shades are a little bit different, but the Milani one is fabulous. The formula is just incredible. Speaking of Milani, I love the Milani Fruit Fetish lip oils. Their new colors are my favorite. I prefer them over their original shades, but they are stunning, they smell delicious. And this one is in the color 160. It is such a nice color. It gives the perfect amount of color and glossy shine. They're not sticky. They almost have like a smooth, glossy, jelly-like texture. And very much kind of like your lips but better, which I love. And then my favorite lip oil gloss hybrid is from Milk Makeup in the shade Work Trip. They have tons of really great shades. This is just one of the many that I love. Also smells so good. It's like a nice muted pinky rose. It's stunning. How gorgeous are both of these? Absolutely stunning, 10 out of 10. Now this is the time to lock everything into place, set your makeup. I love to use a mattifying spray at this time since I used so many glowy hydrating products. The best in the game, honestly, is the One Size Until Dawn waterproof setting spray. I don't think there is a dupe for this, honestly. I think there's some nice alternatives, but nothing comes close to be as intense as this spray. It's literally hairspray for your face. It's intense, but it really works. For the drugstore side, I have quite a few favorite matte setting sprays, but I really like this Infinite setting spray from Makeup Revolution. I feel like this is so underrated. I love the mister on it, and it does a nice job at melting in my makeup, while also like when it dries, it just gives me a nice matte finish. So I really like this one. Just gives you a nice little refresh at the end of your makeup. If you have dry skin, you can still use your glowy setting spray of choice to really enhance the glow and again just melt your products in but if you have more combo or oily skin use something matte just so that you really just seal everything in without adding too much extra glowy shine i told you guys this is so easy very fresh and just very skin focused which i love versus more eye focused but try this out use your favorite products i wanted to show you a very simple look that you can achieve with both affordable and high-end makeup and i really love both sides there's a few things that I think are definitely splurge worthy but regardless I love the affordable side just as much as the high-end side I think they're both they're both really good I can go out right now in public and nobody would know that I'm wearing different sets of products on each side of my face so I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any favorites for everyday makeup leave those down below as well don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week and I cannot wait to see you in my next one bye